What's going on my Wakanda family? It's your boy T'Challa back with another video. We're gonna talk about expertise and I'm gonna give you guys some pointers and some tips on how I went about it. So first and foremost, you wanna create a new character. When you create a new character, then when you complete, you wanna go bypass the regular story, Washington DC, you wanna go straight to New York. Create that character and once you create them, you complete Warlords of New York, get your shade watch, then you will get those scavenger points. Now, the thing with that is you have to be at least level 1000. So when you're at 1000 or above, whatever's left over from the 800 points that will initially go to your watch, that's what you'll have. So for example, if you're only level 1000 and you create a new character, you come back to DC, your character will then have 200 scavenger points because 800 is gonna go to your watch. 200 are gonna be in your scavenger point. So for me, inventory. since I am rank 1,531, you know, 200 and another 531. So that's 731 scavenger points I'm gonna have left over if I create a new character and then come back. You can then take those scavenger points and buy materials. Some people, they uh, Inventory. like to get e-credits. They take the scavenger points, spend it all on e-credits, and then they come over here to any Agent. of the vendors, and Good whatever choice. they don't have as far as weapons, not gear, but weapons, they buy the weapons. It takes 20 weapons to expertise to get it proficient. 10 ranks, 20 weapons to get... Um, one weapon proficient so that's what people do and that's what i did i would take my e-credits buy weapons and i would do that every week and each week until i got to you know all the exotics and named items that's what i was doing buying weapons with e-credits thanks for now you can also come over here to the countdown vendor and you can see what the countdown vendor has as well you know, they may have some named items that you don't have proficient yet. So that's another way. I have 1,482 countdown credits, you know? So if I needed to, I could buy as many as I needed and just keep doing this over and over to quickly get your items proficient. Now, the other way um, people do it is they come up, count down, and they target loot, gear. And when they target loot the gear, you know, they get it, save it. Once they come out of countdown, trash it, and then you can go straight to the vendor. You come over to the table, not the vendor, but the, the calibration table, go to expertise, and then you'll see when you click on an item, you can either, you know, donate all junk or do it individually. But as long as you have everything um, trash or you have it donated for trash then you can just come here and everything gear weapons is gonna go here to your proficient level to your expertise as you see I got 256 items already proficient I just need 103 more so this grind is crazy I wanted to share those tips with you guys now another way inventory some people do it is once they have the scavenger points, I don't have it on me, but because uh, I didn't use it all up. But they use the scavenger points and they max out printer filament. And it takes 30 printer filament to go up a notch. It takes 10 notches, which then makes it 300 printer filament to get one item proficient. So 300 it takes to get one level. That's how much printer filament it takes. It takes 3,000 to completely proficient one item. So that's 10 levels. It takes 3,000 points. Printer filament is what I'm talking about. 3,000 printer filament to rank one item up to um, proficient where you hit all 10 levels. So I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick on how I go about expertising. And uh, that's what I do. 
and i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for stopping by to check it out join the wakanda family like that um hit the like button for the video we keep it a thousand over here and man guys i truly appreciate you it's your boy t'challa out all right guys i forgot one tip um something else i do when i'm farming on countdown i also put on weapons and gears that i know are decent for example like i'm using the apartment right i'm using the apartment as you see i don't have it proficient on any level yet i use this because it's a halfway decent or really good to some people you know it's all what you like um this is a decent weapon and you use it to rank it up while you're farming other gears you know like this you farm other gears next thing you know while this is proficient or ranking up you're still getting other gears as well so that's another tip um i have for you for example like if uh you wanted to run a true patriot build right but you want to farm for something else so you're killing like multiple birds in one stone you'll have on three piece maximum or four it's up to you but i tend to understand that with three or more pieces it ranks up faster and for some reason it feels like in countdown gears and weapons rank up faster than they do in the open world i don't know that's just my opinion and that's just how i feel um from my experience so you guys drop a comment below let me know if it, if you felt the same or you you had the same experience just let me know but that's what you do you kill like multiple birds with one stone and getting things proficient so that's how i do it when i run countdown i put on weapons like named weapons named gear pieces and uh three or more pieces of the same brand set to help fast to, to get proficient faster while farming for other gears or weapons to donate so that's just another way and tip that you can get all this stuff um proficient so that you can get your expertise level up all right it's your boy t'challa and i'm gonna catch you guys just wanted to drop that in there